Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Today it is springtime. It is mid-May in southwest Florida and uh, spring is great here. Now we don't have rhododendron and azaleas blooming, the tulips and daffodils aren't up. It's not that kind of spring. Uh, it is 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 29 degrees Celsius. Um, I can't say it's where the snow is over because we don't have snow here, but it is spring and my plants are blooming, my orchids are blooming, and it, it's just great. What I want to do today is kind of give you an overview, uh, take a look at my orchids, and we're, I don't have that many flowering. I've got just a few flowering here, not too many. Um, but what I do have is uh, spring and new growth. So the orchids know that rainy season is coming. Uh, some say it's already here, but um, the rainy season on southwest Florida means it's going to rain almost every day, usually in the afternoon. And I can look, and even though it's a nice sunny day, um, occasionally we hear thunder. I hear thunder in the background, and you may hear that uh, during the video today. So over there, we've got some dark, uh, dark gray thunderclouds uh, showing up, and it could rain on us any time. It's already rained a little bit today. But what that means, again, is the orchids sense that. They put out new growth. The humidity is starting to go up. It's not that high. It's, it's really comfortable right now. Um, but as the humidity goes up and as it rains every day, the orchids know this. They understand this. They have sensors for day length, and they know what's happening. Um, and uh, they start putting out new growth. So I want to show you some of that, and I hope not to bore you with non-flowers, because we're going to be taking a look at some of uh, the pseudobulbs, the leaves and the roots that are growing out of this, which is what we see is a flush of growth in the springtime. So I'm going to show you some of my flowers but all, and also show you some of my other springtime <laughs> activities, which means I've got some seed capsules that are ripening, and I want to show you some of those, uh, some good root growth. And even though it's not flowers, I hope you'll enjoy this, and I hope you'll follow along. So what I'm going to do is get behind the camera and narrate and show you some of the orchids that I have in my collection and what kind of great growth I'm starting to see with some of these plants. But we'll start out with uh, this flower right here because it's an interesting story in itself. Okay, let me get behind the camera. Okay, and we are back. And what I want to show you first is this beauty right here. So this is, uh, this is one of my new favorites, uh, and it's because it's, it's a really nice plant. It's, uh, it's vigorous. It, has, it blooms multiple times a year, and it's just a, uh, it's a great plant that uh, I'm enjoying having. This is, if I can find the tag, this is uh, Robert Strait Islander Delight Times uh, Brian, Brian Wheeler grandson. So this started out, uh, when I bought this, it was a seedling and it was a cross and now this has been uh, renamed, or it actually has been named, uh, Odom's Grand Delight. Uh, and this comes in, a, it's got a variety of different colors, but I really like this because of the, the deep uh, purple uh, in, the, uh, in the lip there. And uh, it's just a great plant, just beautifully fragrant. Uh, also, so I really like this plant. It's been blooming probably for three weeks, maybe a month, and it just keeps on uh, keeps on putting out the color and the fragrance. The the flowers look great, and everything is fine. And uh, I also want to show you this right here, uh, and this is a seed capsule because I pollinated this uh, this plant with one of my other one of my other orchids when this bloomed um, I guess about three months ago two or three months ago so I've got a seed capsule forming on uh, on this guy and it's still a little young I still it still has a little way to go but it is springtime and what I'm hoping to do is is get some of the vigor uh, some of the really high bloom habit out of this and the vigor from this plant onto the other, and it was a large uh, cattleya that I crossed it onto. 
Uh, over here we have, this is a dendrobium that has just been, that blooms pretty much uh, constantly for me, a huge plant and it, and it does really well. Uh, I also wanna give you a little bit of a preview of some of my uh, nursery plants shown here. So these are some of the seedlings that I've pulled out of the lab and I'm gonna make a video just on these seedlings uh, coming up pretty soon because, and, and <laughs> this is some of them. So I've got a few of them and I've got more of them coming. Uh, but what I wanted to show you today is are some of these other some of these other or, uh, plants that I have, and most of them are uh, cattleyas. And what you can see here is all the new um, all the new pseudobulbs that are coming out. So one on that one, that one's uh, kind of large, but all these plants are putting out uh, new pseudobulbs. And there's a real surge in growth. What I'm seeing, and these are with some of my small plants, but. Pretty much all of my orchids are doing this, and what I want to do is quickly highlight some of them as we take more of a look. All right, so these are some of the cattleyas that are that I've got hanging on my fence here, but you can see the leaf uh, that's coming out at you. That's a new one. We go down here, and that's a new leaf right there. Pretty, pretty vigorous. As we move over here, that's a new leaf. Moving over here, that's a new, sorry, not flowers. And it does get kind of repetitive, but another leaf coming out here. And oh my gosh, another, another leaf coming out here. So it's pretty much the story with all of them. And even looking at there, that, that leaf coming up uh, in the back is a new leaf. So I'll show you a few more of these things, but um, this is pretty much what we have is growth of the, and there's really nice vigorous growth. They know it's spring. They know the uh, the rainy season is either on us or around the corner, and they're just all putting out really nice, vigorous growth. So I'm hoping for flower from for flowers from all of these new leaves. And following up here, here's a brassavola that also is just putting out a lot of new leaves from here. Another brassavola mykai right here that's got there a little smaller the leaves that are coming out let me see if i can get in there and show you some of them there's one right there um, they're smaller but they're they're all coming out on this guy we move over here and this is a uh, john burkia myrmicophila and this also has a couple of new leaves coming out and i do need to show you the sherry baby i don't know if you can tell but uh, it's, got lot, it's got a lot of bloom spikes coming out on that. All right, so I'm seeing just a good surge in growth. Um, things, are, things are going well, and I want to show you just a few more of my plants that have new growths coming out. Okay, and we're back, and there's another uh, nice leaf coming out on this guy. It's just they're all, all of them are doing that. There's another nice leaf coming out on this. This one... There's a little bit of, oh, I gotta get on it, a little bit of damage on this leaf. Um, well, right, yeah, right there. There's a little bit of damage on the leaf. And what happened is I think a pigeon landed on it. So I had a pigeon that I put a, put a box out for the pigeon and I think if they landed on this and cracked that leaf, but it seems still to be doing okay. Again, more new leaves growing out on, on this guy and a few few other things. Uh, but I want to show you over here, what I have is a, a catacetum that's putting out a bloom spike here. So I'm pretty happy about this. And this is a little bit early. The plant itself looks, uh, looks pretty good. Um, and I think, uh, I think I'm going to see my, some of my earliest blooms here uh, on this catacetum. Um, some of the seedlings that I have right, right there. Sorry about the backlighting, kind of hard to see. Uh, but just a number of different things. And I do want to show you a couple more couple more things. I'm sorry, this is a little choppy, but I want to show you a couple more things in my, uh, in my collection. And this is what spring growth in my vandas looks like. Not much, but, but you can see, you know, there's just really nice uh, root growth on this vanda right here, uh, coming over to this vanda on this tree again you can see the really nice nice uh, root growth right there uh, grabbing on 
to the tree. I'm sorry, it's a little hard to see. Right over there. That's some nice, nice root growth there. And there's even, if you follow this thing up, that's, that's the root coming from this guy. So there's, I'm um, getting some nice root growth on my Vandas. And I'm going to walk over. There's another, and, the, and the thing is with Vandas is that I'm not good at growing them. But they seem to be doing really well with the roots. And they seem to be looking pretty good. But let's take a look over here. <laughs> I'm all excited about this. And I didn't, don't know if I should be or not. So this is an Arides. Um, and the plant bloomed from, when I bought it, it was blooming. And I had it for a year and it did nothing. And then I stuck it on this tree. And oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that root growth. And for me, this is pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that type of root growth. So uh, things are doing well. I'm not going to show you all my plants, but I do want to show you one more thing that I'm pretty excited about, and that's right behind here. And this is a uh, Mahina Yahira Mishima. So this is a Cattleya that is also putting out some new growth at the base. But what I'm excited about are these guys right here. So these are two seed capsules right here and the reason that I'm excited about it is because they're about ready to harvest so with these seed capsules you let them go for with with cattleyas you let them go for about uh, six months after you pollinate and there's another one down here that is considerably younger so this is this was from a later flower but these two were from an earlier flower and these are about two weeks away from harvesting. So that doesn't mean that the capsule is going to split, but it means that it's about the optimum age and size for me to harvest the capsules and then culture the seed. And I'm excited about this because, again, this is Mahina Yahiro Mishima, uh, which is a nice uh, Cattleya, but I crossed it with one of these uh, one of these capsules. I don't remember <laughs> which one offhand. They're tagged, so there's little tags around the base of them. And so I'll look at the tags, but one of these was crossed with uh, uh, Odom's um, uh, Delight. So um, I'm really hopeful the one that I showed you at the earlier part of the video. So uh, Odom's Grand Delight was crossed onto these. I'm an, and I'm excited because I can't wait to see what kind of plants I get out of this and what kind of flowers I get out of it. I know it's going to be a really vigorous, large, flowering, fragrant uh, Cattleya, uh, but I don't know what uh, color the flower is going to be, and that's exciting. But I got to be patient because it's going to be at least five years to flower. So, and I'm trying to I'm trying to reduce that time, but it's probably going to be close to that. So, um, that's all I have for today. Again, springtime in Southwest Florida. It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day with uh, thunder <laughs> thunderstorms off in the distance that may or may not hit us again today. Uh, that's all I have for today. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, please subscribe to my channel and happy propagating.